Some components of the firm's production system are likely to be automated, whereas others will be operated manually or clerically. The automated elements of the production system can be separated into two categories. Number 1, automation of the manufacturing systems in the factory, and number 2, computerization of the manufacturing support systems. In modern production systems, the two categories are closely related, because the automated manufacturing systems on the factory floor are themselves usually implemented by computer systems that are integrated with the manufacturing support systems and management information system operating at the plant and enterprise levels. The two categories of automation are shown in this figure. At first, let's discuss in details about automated manufacturing systems. Automated manufacturing systems operate in the factory on the physical product. They perform operations such as processing, assembly, inspection, and material handling, in many cases accomplishing more than one of these operations in the same system. They are called automated because they perform their operations with a reduced level of human participation compared with the corresponding manual process. In some highly automated systems, there is virtually no human participation. Examples of automated manufacturing systems include Automated machine tools that process parts Transfer lines that perform a series of machining operations Automated assembly systems Manufacturing systems that use industrial robots to perform processing or assembly operations Automatic material handling and storage systems to integrate manufacturing operations And automatic inspection systems for quality control Automated manufacturing systems can be classified into three basic types. Number 1, fixed automation. Number 2, programmable automation. And number 3, flexible automation. They generally operate as fully automated systems although semi-automated systems are common in programmable automation. Fixed automation. Fixed automation is a system in which the sequence of processing or assembly operations is fixed by the equipment configuration. Each operation in the sequence is usually simple, involving perhaps a plain linear or rotational motion or an uncomplicated combination of the two, such as feeding a rotating spindle. It is the integration and coordination of many such operations in one piece of equipment that makes the system complex. Typical features of fixed automation are, high initial investment for custom engineered equipment, high production rates and inflexibility of the equipment to accommodate product variety. The economic justification for fixed automation is found in products that are made in very large quantities and at high production rates. The high initial cost of the equipment can be spread over a very large number of units, thus minimizing the unit cost relative to alternative methods of production. Examples of fixed automation include machining transfer lines and automated assembly machines. Programmable automation. In programmable automation, the production equipment is designed with the capability to change the sequence of operations to accommodate different product configurations. The operation sequence is controlled by a program, which is a set of instructions coded so that they can be read and interpreted by the system. New programs can be prepared and entered into the equipment to produce new products. Some of the features that characterize programmable automation include high investment in general purpose equipment, lower production rates than fixed automation, flexibility to deal with variations and changes in product configuration, and high suitability for batch production. Programmable automated systems are used in low and medium volume production. The parts or products are typically made in batches. To produce each new batch of a different item, the system must be reprogrammed with the set of machine instructions that correspond to the new item. The physical setup of the machine must also be changed, tools must be loaded, fixtures must be attached to the machine table, and any required machine settings must be entered. This changeover takes time. Consequently, the typical cycle for a given batch includes a period during which the setup and reprogramming take place, followed by a period in which the parts are produced. Examples of programmable automation include numerically controlled, NC, machine tools, industrial robots, and programmable logic controllers. Flexible automation. Flexible automation is an extension of programmable automation. 
a flexible automated system is capable of producing a variety of parts or products with virtually no time lost for changeovers from one design to the next. There is no lost production time while reprogramming the system and altering the physical setup, tooling, fixtures, machine settings. Accordingly, the system can produce various mixes and schedules of parts or products instead of requiring that they be made in batches. What makes flexible automation possible is that the differences between parts processed by the system are not significant, so the amount of changeover between designs is minimal. Features of flexible automation include, high investment for a custom engineered system, continuous production of variable mixtures of parts or products, medium production rates, and flexibility to deal with product design variations. Examples of flexible automation are flexible manufacturing systems that perform machining processes. We can see the three types of automation relative to production quantity and product variety that we have just discussed. Till now, we were discussing the automated manufacturing systems. Now, let's discuss about computerized manufacturing support systems. Automation of the manufacturing support systems is aimed at reducing the amount of manual and clerical effort in product design, manufacturing planning and control, and the business functions of the firm. Nearly all modern manufacturing support systems are implemented using computers. Indeed, computer technology is used to implement automation of the manufacturing systems in the factory as well. Computer Integrated Manufacturing CIM, denotes the pervasive use of computer systems to design the products, plan the production, control the operations, and perform the various information processing functions needed in a manufacturing firm. True CIM involves integrating all of these functions in one system that operates throughout the enterprise. Other terms are used to identify specific elements of the CIM system, for example, computer-aided design, in short, CAD supports the product design function. Computer-aided manufacturing, in short, CAM, is used for functions related to manufacturing engineering, such as process planning and numerical control part programming. Some computer systems perform both CAD and CAM, and so the term CAD or CAM is used to indicate the integration of the two into one system. Computer-integrated manufacturing involves the information processing activities that provide the data and knowledge required to successfully produce the product. These activities are accomplished to implement the four basic manufacturing support functions identified earlier, business functions, product design, manufacturing planning, and manufacturing control.